deal. Governor Gavin Newsom is signing a bill that would help some Mexican citizens living right near the border. Fox 5's Juliet Vara explains how students can qualify for in-state tuition. San Diego City College is one of those colleges. Now, this law applies to low-income Mexican residents that live within 45 miles of the border. Now, many will have the opportunity to save thousands of dollars on tuition. David Arzola is from Tijuana and attends Southwestern College in Chula Vista. I mean, I live in both places. This is actually my first day here. Now, a new pilot program expected to launch next year could help give students like him financial relief. Our students come to community college with a lot of challenges. So we have students who move south of the border just to save money on housing. Um, but uh, with the increased tuition rates as non-resident students, it really ends up washing. Assembly Bill 91, signed by Governor Newsom, will allow qualifying low-income Mexican residents who live within 45 miles of the Mexico-California border to pay in-state tuition. Our in-state tuition, they pay about $1,400 a year. Um, out-of-state residents or non-residents, it's $8,000 mm. a year. New Mexico, Arizona, and Texas already host similar programs. Southwestern College, along with eight other community colleges in San Diego and Imperial Counties, will participate in the pilot program. There are already so many people's lives who are integrated, right, north and south of the border here. That's just kind of a reality of living in the San Diego area. Um, so I don't see why that kind of opportunity shouldn't be afforded to those who need it. Qualifying students would pay $46 a unit compared to the average 300 non-resident fee. It's still not known how much this would cost the state, and some have expressed concerns. I see potential drawbacks with the way people view it. I definitely understand that there are going to be people who say, oh, well, we already are losing such and such dollars here and there, uh, and now you're taking money to give it to people who aren't even from our country, and that's probably going to be your primary complaint. This will be a five-year pilot program starting next year, and each of the participating community colleges will be able to accept 150 qualifying students. Downtown tonight, I'm Juliet Vara, Fox 5 News.